Coffee Bike was kind of an idea that I'd been kicking around in my head for a few years. There were a lot of people walking and enjoying the beautiful weather and holding coffees from large chain retailers, but yet there was not any of those locations near the trail. So my thought was, is there a way that we could somehow serve people coffee where they currently are? Hi, my name is Mark Stevens, and I'm the co-founder of Coffee Bike, and this is my wife. Uh, my name is Anna, the other co-founder of Coffee Bike, and we're here in Dallas, Texas. The whole setup is electric and human powered. The espresso machine works on mechanical pistons to create pressure. The kettle is heated with an electric battery. And then of course the bike is powered with electricity as well. So I think from a sustainability aspect, it's gotta be up there with one of the most sustainable cups of coffee you could probably get in Dallas. Very eco-friendly. Very eco-friendly. <laughs> Maybe like one in five or six customers that we get are just so excited about the concept and just stay and talk and they follow us on Instagram. And you know, we always say we're gonna post where we are. And so that's kind of, I think one of my favorite parts is just how excited other people get about the concept. One of the coolest parts for me about Coffee Bike is the community and bringing people together. I think uh, there are a lot of things that do that. Coffee certainly is one of the things that, that does that. And it's just nice to be able to see people come together. It's a constant search of new places to explore, new trails or new roads that are bike friendly. And with that kind of comes a community aspect. Unfortunately, a lot of what we do these days is not know our neighbors and, and not know the people around us. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of lonely people and it's nice to wave at the same person every day when you're on your walk or you know, smile at a person that you might not have said hi to the day before. Those patterns create these micro communities every day, and I think that it's important to all of our health as a society. Yes, I heard about it from my friend Anna. I follow her on social media, and she posted something about it, you know, this morning. So I decided to come by and check it out, you know, get some air outside and see all the people. It's been great. So actually I meet a lot of people when we come out. Uh, a lot of people gather and congregate around the bike. So it's been awesome to really meet more people in the community down here in downtown Dallas. We also wanted to enjoy the bike ourselves. And so being able to have an electric cargo bike allows Anna to ride on the back or I'm riding on the back and she is driving. And after a long, hard day, being able to take the bike and go out to the lake is just an awesome way to relax. Beyond the profitability aspect of it, um, creating community and um, doing something that you love with someone you love has been the best part about it.